And what's going on guys? Welcome to FG Live episode number 9 here on American Outback version 2. Uh, I have to say off the top of the, that hurts guys. That that hurts. That hurts. I can't believe you didn't like my music. That's the one thing I've been really good at. And that's picking out really good music for stream. Y'all completely just completely cut it open man. Stabbed it and you stomped it on the ground. Anyway, uh, with that being said, welcome to the stream and uh, welcome to another episode here at American Outback. Uh, what is going on, guys? What's up, Steven Brandon Rebel? Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that like. What's up? <laughs> What's up, B85? How you doing, Ryan? Uh, Chevy Boy, AJ, good to see you guys. Philip, as always, welcome. Uh, so, Chevy Boy, Austin, yes, glad you got that dip in a recline back. I'm sure that took you all of, what, five seconds to do? <laughs> What's up, JB6102K? Uh, good to see you guys. Hey, what's up, TikTok? Any new stuff? Uh, no. <laughs> this is console, remember, man? <laughs> There's never any new stuff. Uh, we've got a, I did download a trailer, which I'm actually going to go pick up. I actually buy. Uh, just, I wanted to look at it in game. Actually, I haven't got a chance to look at it. Uh, what is going on, Walter? How you doing, bud? Um, so let's see. Let me, let me, let me. Oh, you know what? Here, let me do this first. Um, so, I don't know if anybody follows Farm Sim over on uh, the actual forums. I mean, talk about Mustang Valley Ranch um, and uh, just kind of seeing some of that stuff. So, I've got some new stuff today. You may have seen it. Uh, if you did, you know, glad. Um, but I figured for the rest of us, that uh, the rest of you that may not have seen it, I'll pull it up on screen here and then we'll, uh, let's see. Okay, you got me now. Okay, there we go. I think I think it's uh, yeah. Okay, I'm back on. Uh, sorry, I'm, I didn't have my mic didn't come come through on that setting. Anyway, uh, so here's Mustang Valley Ranch. We've been talking about it. We've been thinking about all oh, this is gonna be great to see all this new stuff kind of coming in. So here here's a few. These are probably the the next next renders of the map. This is what something on my shoes the guy that's doing this. Now, I'm just gonna kind of scroll through here. Um, Walter's right, they locked his thread, and I was going to say something about that. I don't think it really applies to any of us, but... Uh, so here's basically the map. <laughs> it's four freaking big fields. <laughs> so if you look at American Outback, um, American uh, Outback is pretty much... That's what this is going to be. So it's going to be set exactly like American Outback. You've got a couple areas there on the very top, um, uh, which is somewhere right around in this area. You're going to have some type of loading. Then you're going to have your main farm in the dead center. And then it looks like you're going to have a couple of things over here on the right side. Maybe these might be some construction areas like what we saw in Thornton, uh, Thornton Farm. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see exactly what they decide to do with these areas here. And then we've also got this. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's a little afterthought. You know, this, maybe this is the skid mark in your drawers after you get done wiping. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what that is. So. <laughs> um, but anyway, this will probably all be filled up mountain-wise. But anyway, I've got a couple of nice little some little areas down here. So they might be areas you can actually stage a lot of, of uh, Big Bud stuff. Um, and I don't think... Let me go through. I don't think there was any more on this page. Um, maybe something on the second one. Uh, okay, no. So let me go back. And I think it's on, it's on three or four. Uh, is this it? Yes. So here's another one. You kind of get you an idea. Sorry, this is a little bit stretched out, uh, but I wanted to fill the screen up. You can kind of see some of these uh, prices for these fields. You know, we're looking at three million bucks for one of these, six and a half million for one. I'm sure you probably only get one of these fields. Eight and a half for that's probably the big one. You can kind of see the 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 pay. <clears throat> excuse me, the payouts. This is for a sunflower mission. Seven hundred thirty minutes uh, for uh, two hundred ninety one thousand dollars. <laughs> good gravy with that little uh that little sunflower uh picker there so yeah it, you know it, it's it's gonna be good I, I mean if you like the big bud i still think big bud wise american outback is gonna be a really good map to do and i also think um also think yeah so that one and sosnovka those are still going to be really good maps because they're not lading with um 
they're not ridden with a bunch of uh, uh, hedges and a bunch of stuff to obstruct while you're doing it. So that one's that one's still going to work out fine. Um, I, I don't know that I'm actually going to get into this. I'm I, I'm just not a big fan of those huge maps because the thing about it, and I said to yesterday. The thing about it is that you're gonna have to, at some point, we're gonna be, you're gonna have to harvest it. So it might actually make for a really cool multiplayer map to really feature all the DLC and get as many people as you can to like literally stack one harvester right after the other and have people just running trucks left and right. I mean, if that's your thing, then you're gonna love it. Um, if it's not your thing, then he, eh, you know. You, you might you might have to settle for Sosnovka or or the other on that. So just thought I would uh, throw that out there our way, uh, especially for you, some of you may, that have not seen that yet. Um, it's definitely going to be a, a good. So I think May I want to say seventh or ninth is up there, some, somewhere around in that. Yeah, no animals. Um, let me just go back and catch up with some of the uh, uh, some of the stuff here, and I will get to your comment too, Walter. Hey, what's going on, Bass Man? How you doing, man? Yeah, I, I figured it was. I recognized the icon. <laughs> um, something else that kind of happened uh, inside of that, they decided, I guess some console guys got in there and decided they were going to be uh, you know, some buttholes in the forum and kind of doing what console guys in the forums always do. And I've always said on here, if there's any guy, especially on here, that gets on there and runs their mouth a lot and does a bunch of stuff in those forums and stuff, I mean, even if you're not, you're not completely... Um, it, you're not completely active in there. It's always good to always be extremely supportive, especially from a console perspective going in there, because you know we do have a lot of stuff that um, that we ne necessarily don't get a lot of the time. So I think there was a bunch of stuff said back and forth. There was like four or five pages of just argument all the time, and then they finally just locked it up. So that's uh, that's a shame, but it's 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 happening more and more and more so here's our new one this galera 55,000 liter trailer obviously it holds everything under the sun uh it's 55,000 and it's just simple with the dolly with the truck um is your two attachment options so i'm actually going to pick one up here and uh we'll just go with the wide tires and then we'll uh we'll throw it up there at the store um kind of needed another smaller one i mean you got the big tipper but kind of needed another smaller one too <clears throat> Hey, what's going on, Michael? Yeah, and I think it'll come to a console. I mean, I, I don't, I don't think at this point, you know, they were talking about making it a 4x map and making it even bigger for PC. Um, but I think something on my shoe. I, I think he's, he's kind of at this point. It'd be, it'd be, it would be stupid for him to not do that. So. <clears throat> <laughs> hey man, I will rock it all day long with a hired worker doing it. <laughs> There's no way, man. I still, I'll have fun planting the fields. I'll have fun. I guess I'll, what I'll do is I'll turn withering on. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put me a bunch of uh, money in the account. I'll run and go grab all the equipment, and uh, and then I'll just let it all die off. <laughs> <laughs> then that way I can go back and start plowing it and start cultivating it again. We'll just pretend somebody harvested that. <laughs> Alright, sounds good, Bass Man. Good to see you, man. You're welcome. Stop in anytime you like. Hey, right, congrats on the new truck. What is the good news, James? This is actually a really rugged looking tractor. I mean, a tractor. Trailer. What's up, Ack the Savage? How you doing, bro? That's what, that's what you just, you just, that ought to be your new call sign, man. Ack the Savage. <laughs> Hope you're doing good, man. I don't want to say it's terrible, but with the right color truck, man, this is like definitely like your workhorse trailer here. This is like. You don't even want to know what's in the bottom in the corners of this trailer. I do need to change my truck color, though. I, I can't go on with that. That's just too much. You're asking too much of me. I'm gonna go. Uh, let, let's go. Let's go something generic. What about a lovely gray? Let's put some white tires on it. There we go. Gray. <laughs> oh, the excitement, the suspense. All right. I don't mind the big tippers, uh, but I kind of do already get tired of them. I'm just kind of, eh. All 
They don't keep you stuff very long. I gotta gotta change it up. Uh, does it have a? Whoops. Hmm. I don't think it does. Let me pull up the help menu here just to make sure. I don't think it does though. Nope. You can tip the side. Uh, you got the doors. You got the little small door, grain door, I guess, and then you've got. Uh, yeah, so it basically opens up like this and tips out instead of having the, uh, the actual uh, uh, the cap lift on it. So yeah, that's right, man. We no holds bar here at FTG, man. Gray, <laughs> grayscale. <laughs> it does look on the back. Um, start engine, tip side doors, and then the other one. Yeah, no, there's no. Uh, No, I know. Uh, oh, okay. You're saying no, 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 no. I was talking. About, he's talking about the cover. That's what I thought you were talking about. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So right here, he, Philip's talking about this. Right here at the big boss mining, uh, you've got that nice little uh, that ring hitch down there. So I, I have to see uh, exactly what else. So I'm assuming some probably some other tippers and stuff can fit onto that, um, or even other implements for that matter. If it's the same height, it probably will attach to it. So. Yeah, we we might try to do a we might try to do an FTG Fifty Shades of Grey episode. That's what I'm working on next, Michael. You're going. I think you'll get you and B to help me with that one. <laughs> Just kidding. TMI. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> That's what's on my most my my space. <laughs> Oh man, got the VR gear headset. I hear you, man. I've yet to really, really, really get it. Get uh, <laughs> going to unsub. That's okay, man. You will be back. You will be back. That's just not something you walk away from. <laughs> okay, that might be a little. That might be going a little far there. Uh, that would be money. This stream coming with pie. Warm apple pie. <laughs> Got rid of the orange truck. <laughs> FTG after dark. Oh, that's what we could call it. We could play that off of HBO Showbox or any of that stuff after dark. Boxing after dark. I'm like, why do you always have to bark in the box in the dark? Why can't you just have a boxing match in the daytime? Was that always got to be at night? <laughs> Great tractor, sexy as nice. <laughs> What's up, Aiden? <laughs> what the orange truck? <laughs> yeah. These are my two favorites. I actually like the. Uh, I like the one up there, um, the Challenger. I like it. Um, I think it's the one of the colors, the M900. Uh, or the 9000 series, and as the T9, man. T9's always been my favorite it's ever since uh, uh, FS15 came out. This has by far been my most favorite truck. I don't ever, I don't ever have it on the farm. I don't know why. I guess most of the stuff we have now is, it's a small. Um, the maps are small. And there's very few really big stuff out there. So, <clears throat> old county colors. <laughs> Oh, colors and I get no what's up. What is up, Scott? <laughs> uh, newish horse. Um, Um, let's see, I believe if that's the horse grain cart from FS, <clears throat> FS15, no, I don't believe I've, I don't believe I've downloaded that one. I mean, we had the two that were already there, and they're both, uh, I think one's a triaxle and the other is a, is a tandem, so, um, I think, I think basically on both of those, I think, uh, that I, I, I normally don't use them. Now, if I had, um, if we're doing a full multiplayer, it might be worth pulling in just to move it back and forth to, uh, um, you know, the trucks and whatnot, which would be fine. Um, let's see, let me get, let me get ready to make my turn here. No, the one with the tarp. Um, 
No, no. If it's not, if it's not out of the, the, if it's not out of the defaults, then no, I haven't tried it. Yeah, this one's uh, this this one's pretty twitchy. The T9 is probably a little smoother than this one. Um, I, I, at some point, I don't really like the articulated. I wish they would just freaking come out with the DLC or come out with something that basically get these Challenger tractors on wheels, like the uh, the the actual tracked versions. I really like them, and they're good in single player. But once you try to do a multiplayer with the tracked uh, tractors, now it's it's just tough. Because if you're going to do that in the multiplayer, it's almost impossible. <laughs> it runs the lotion on the skin, yes. <laughs> Every time I hear that line, man, I think about Joe Dirt in a hole. <laughs> okay, dang, man. It rubs the lotion on the skin. Dang. <laughs> I'm in a good mood today. I don't know why. <laughs> <clears throat> Uh, changing the fin. Well, no, I have not been paying attention, Scott. That's quite obvious. <laughs> Good movie. It's all what Joe does, right? Joe Dirt. Joe Dirt. He's the hero. Joe Dirt. <laughs> oh, Kid Rock reads that letter that Brandy later wrote him. <laughs> oh, man. We'll just do a stream one night where I just stream Joe Dirt. It's like the best ever. I'm not a big David Spade fan, but Tommy Boy and Joe Dirt are my favorites. <laughs> they got a heavy. <laughs> oh, man. Gosh, there's some good one-liners in that one. The part where he's in the diner and he straps himself to that septic tank. <laughs> oh, gosh. Man, that's so good. That's so good. Love it. Oh, yeah, I have no idea, man. I, I don't keep up with real farming stuff. If you expect to get good farming, uh, um, good farming, you know, actual real-life true stuff of what's going on, I don't keep up with farming nearly like I keep up with aviation. Um, I, do, I do really like to keep up with aviation. Farming's more of just I really enjoy the game and enjoy driving the, uh, the machinery, and I have really no idea how any of this stuff actually works in real life. So... <laughs> I would love to see some of their thousand series, some of these challengers like, um, like this one, the 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 M seven thousand series eight thousand. Both of those have a wheeled version. I would love to see a wheeled version in that. Um, and essentially, I would think you just take the <coughs> you take the tracked version off. And I don't know if it's been done on PC yet, but I'd, I'd like to see those because I mean, these are essentially the, I mean, it's the same exact tractor. Let's see, we'll switch here. Maybe do I'm already halfway done with this field. This is such a great way to do this. I should have got one more. I think I got a tractor big enough it'll pull it the other one. <laughs> oh man, that's a good one right there. Oh Brandy. <laughs> Screaming memes for man, dude. <laughs> that's okay, man. You like to see homos naked? That's alright, man. <laughs> Oh, man, y'all are pulling some great one-liners on that one, man. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that, Aiden. <laughs> How's the posse track going to play with work? I don't know. It just does. <laughs> oh, gosh. Man, bringing back some good memories. I've been on this kick, man. I don't know. I saw something on Facebook the other day. It was uh, um, it was the uh, the shirt that had the uh, smalls from the Sandlot. Some of you probably know the Sandlot very well. Um, and some of you may not even know what the Sandlot is. If you don't know what the Sandlot is, rent it, buy it, find it on eBay. It's it's a it's an older movie. Um, yeah, probably back in the late '90s or so when that one was done. Maybe even before then. Yeah, shoot, it would have been before then. It's probably the early mid-90s. Such a great movie. There's a little one-liner out there. You're killing me, Smalls. I've been saying it ever since high school, so <laughs> I feel like saying it now. So many good one-liners coming out of Joe Dirt. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> oh man. Man, the big evil. Yep. It's good times, man. Good times. Yes, you're exactly right, Ryan. There's absolutely no excuse to not see the same lot. It is just that good. <laughs> oh, here we go. One liners from the sandlot. Well, we just do that for stream tonight. We'll just let the workers work. We'll just watch them work while we sit back and talk about one liners from our favorite childhood movies. Uh, that'll be entertaining. I'm sure there's some good stuff on there, man. Oh, man. I used to love, man, when Smalls went for the lifeguard. That was, that was awesome. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Steven. Everything's bigger. Whoops. Oh, 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 oh. Get up his way. Get up his way. Ah, here we go. Yeah, man. Plows are huge. Um, plows are huge on this. Cultivator's huge. I don't exactly know the, 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 the correct meterage to tell you um, exactly how wide everything is, but I would say a good, at least double. There's some of these guys. I'm just, you know what? I bet Philip knows how wide the cultivators are. I would say they're probably somewhere along the uh, mid to high 20s. I know the plow is, I want to say it's 18. I, I may be not right on that, but I know it is humongous. Yeah, yeah. Everyone had to have an erector set. <laughs> Everybody. You tried that once, you got a slap. <laughs> you like that word, meterage, man. Hey! Uh, I don't even know how to. We'll just call you Eggs for short. Appreciate the sub, Eggs. <laughs> Ten and a half meter. There you go. That's that's a good size right there. Yeah, one of the seeders. It's like got a complete pull behind like tank. It's like an air seeder, I think. And it is huge, and it's got almost got like this uh, this whole big. It's almost kind of like the split. Um, the, you remember the horse? Uh, it's not the not the the, the pronto like we have now, um, but it was the old one in '15 that had the joint in the middle, and you had this huge. Um, yeah, there you go, 24 meter. I knew it was mid 20s, but I couldn't give you a direct number. But I had like, the joint in the middle. I mean, this is kind of except it's reverse. You've got the, I think it's the cultivator, if I remember correctly. It's like this big cultivator setup. And then it's got this almost like unit that rolls behind the tractor. Um, and I think it's, uh, it's yeah, Windy Peppercorn. <laughs> you remember it, last name. <laughs> yes, 10 and a half for that map. You're right, it is going to be too small to plow. I mean, any plow on any of these maps are, I I'm telling you, man. I think it's going to be hokey. I think everyone's going to be like, oh, it's ridiculously big. But look at this map. Well, so we, we take this map right here. And we're on 19. And you see how big this is. Imagine if everything from 19 to the sheep was one field from top to bottom. I mean, and you're doing it at, what, 10, 10, 10 miles an hour? I mean, come on. Come on. No way. Every second last week. Oh, it's good enough for Iowa. You'll see me there. Well, if I live near Iowa, I would. What's up, Chuck Chuck? Good old Wendy. <laughs> I love it. There you go. 640 HP. I mean, pretty much the only thing in this game, 640 HP, is pretty much the T9s and the uh, the tract tractors and the, uh, the 9000 series there behind me. I mean, that's pretty much the only thing you're going to get close to that number. I mean, even like the T8s and stuff, they only get you up to, uh, in the quad track. But I don't know if it gets that far up over 600, honestly. It may not. Looks like they're going to grab the rest of that. Awesome. Man, that was freaking quick right there. That is how you do it. <clears throat> Man, look looks you guys. You guys are on the ball, man. Making my job easy. Making the job easy. Good old case. That's it, man. Alright, we'll go ahead and sit this one. 
Yeah, well, I knew the big, I knew the big X did, but I mean, you can't obviously, you know, it has no PTO drive on it, so you can't can't drive anything with it. Man, must be getting, I'm getting, uh, let's see if I can close some things down here. I'm getting some, get some nasty. There we go. There we go. Yeah, my frames were all shot to pieces on that. I don't know, know what was going on there. All right, that should be uh, considerably smoother. I'm, I'm reading a full, full frames now on my stream, so it should be a, a, a lot less jumpy. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, that's uh, it's almost. Uh, I was about to say, man, that Limpkin does with the plows. It actually does work. I mean, it's a little. Uh, I mean, it's it's a little. It's a little on the, um, the hooky side, trying to get everything put together and then and get it all put. It doesn't fit together very well. But if you do get it together and actually get both of them plowing equally, where you can, you know, pull it and it actually pulls straight, then it's actually not too bad. It actually works pretty well. <laughs> yeah, best Christmas movie ever. <laughs> I think I missed... Oh, uh, well, you know what? First Die Hard. Did I miss something back there? No, I didn't. Yeah, uh, these fields, yeah. Uh, I mean... Now, he here's here's uh, an interesting concept. Well, I don't say what concept. Let's say like, um, you know, eight and seven you could join four and five you could join um and then uh you know 12 and 11 you could join unfortunately this one has so many roads and uh you know so much trash in between each one of them you're not necessarily going to get the full um the full build on this but so is novka on the other hand i'm, I'm going to do another stream from that this week because i want to go back and do some pigs and uh try to get those numbers up on that um, but uh, also I wanted to maybe try to roll back here and do a quick logging episode. I was kind of getting a hankering to do that. Um, but if I wind up doing that, then we can actually look in there. If you go back and load up Sosnovka, just take notice of how many of those fields you can actually join together. So there's a little bit of construction in that. There's also a little bit of um, pretty much anything else that you wanted to do uh, as it pertains to creating kind of your own console version of the map. I am not sure why my thing never went away. Must have got hung up. Hang on, let me uh, let me do something here and reset that. All right, there we go. I think that should do it. All right. All right. Um, let's see. Let me before I, before I take this off. Let me look here real quick, and let's find out what we've got. Composition. Nope. 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 Growth. Let's see what all I got cultivated. I know um, seventeen is done and planted. Sixteen's um, ready. So 19's ready. Okay, I gotta do 16. One's being done now, and I got 20 to do. Okay. Alright, so 16 and 20. Let's go this way. Um now I can't remember Oh yeah, Christmas vacation. Oh, classic. Classic, classic. Actually all those man. Disney Vac I mean not the Disney but the uh, Wally World one and the European actually all those were really good man you can't go wrong with the JVJ spoof <laughs> that's always it's, it's like you know Home Alone's a Christmas movie <laughs> your stuff is scattered everywhere <laughs> Oh yeah, cat under the chair. <laughs> uh. All right, 
so that one's ready that was all corn ready to rock and roll and I got one more down over here so I might I might go ahead and bring the T9 up here when that one's done it is uh, almost done probably working on its last pass or two. Oh, I know man I'd have been so ready that would have been throw down words man if I'd have been my wife up there I'd have been like oh heck no you get off at this stage <laughs> I wish he would have relaxed some of the vegetation around here, seeing so actually drive into the fields without having to drive all the way to the opposite end just to hit the entrance. But, you know. Alright, go ahead and get him cranked up here. Oh. Something's gonna happen there. Yeah, man, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, Michael. Um, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, back to my original thought. Sorry, I, I got sidetracked there. Um, actually, first off, let me speed up time just a hair. Get it at least moving so my cows can produce. My cows are almost doing almost thirty thousand dollars a day in milk. So, and I think I've got uh, fifty. I mean, you got fifty-six. So that was after their feeding yesterday. So they've actually produced quite a bit of milk. So it's it's uh, actually they're they're starting to become quite profitable, which is nice. Oh man, that sucks awesome. <laughs> That's a good line, Philip. <laughs> yeah. And he says it like three or four times. You know, you put a tugging in and then you win a car. Then you put a tugging in, you win a car. You put a tugging in, you win another car. <laughs> I kept doing it. <laughs> yeah, That's good stuff. So anyway, uh, yeah, back to Sozonka. Um, so I was thinking, if you go back and look at that map sometime, even if you don't even play it, just go check it out because um, I think you'll notice pretty, pretty quick um, there's a lot of room on that map to be able to uh, space out and connect a bunch of things. So there's there's a couple of places in there that's going to allow you to do some cool things. You know, if you want to cut down trees but actually rows of trees and small forestry areas making your own fields even bigger there's a whole south end of the map there that's kind of north of the sheep if I remember correctly uh, north of where you the lumber yard there's like three or four big huge areas up there um, that would be completely right for the picking um, and then I, I want to say the whole right side can be connected as one big huge field and the same way with the left now you might have to cut some trees out of the way but, I mean, if you're cutting down trees, extending fields, or doing some plow work, and, and creating some, some bigger space, I think that actually might be cool. But then again, if you're clearing out the way for the DLC and the Big Bud stuff, and you are not the least bit interested in doing one field per the entire map, then that's going to be a ticket for you. A used toilet or used toilet paper? <laughs> yeah, I hope not either, Austin. It, 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 yeah, it sucks to have that. That's, a, that's an expensive uh, it's an expensive endeavor, man, messing with transmissions. I always laughed at who got what. <laughs> the whole toilet, a used toilet. That's kind of mean, James. Alright, I think. Is this my stop? Nope, it's the next one. Yeah, drive around. This is map 26. It's for the birds. Yeah, 
gonna sneak through over here. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna be right there behind it. There we go. See, I think that might um, actually might be kind of cool um, to uh, to be able to pull some of those things together and do some. So I may look at that. Yeah, even if I kept pigs on those Novka, that wouldn't be a problem. Um, you know, I'd still have a lot of the, you know, I would just have to share duties between them. But um, I'd pick out a couple of cool areas and work on extending them. And um, you know, some people don't do them, but you know, honestly, if you if you can't get map makers and modders to you know create and do the stuff for you, then you might as well figure out a way to do it yourself. I always enjoy doing that with 15. Actually, yeah, you have nothing on 15. No mods, nothing. Uh, yeah, skitters would be cool, man. Any kind of logging. I, I was watching AK do some streaming uh, a couple a couple weeks ago, and he was doing some logging on. Uh, Maybe it was the Pacific Inlet map, and uh, he was kind of moving back and forth with using some. And it was just simple cranes. I mean, there wasn't anything ridiculously fancy about them. But you know, you think about the cranes that we have logging-wise here in, in console, and he was taking something, and um, he was making. Um, um, it, it was like the I think it was from the FDR log, uh, logging. And it was just simple. I mean, it was a trailer, but it had a saw on it, so you could cut the size, pull the whole tree up in there with the crane. But the crane arm was not quite as big as what you see. Um, that where with the default like uh, they have the big the big grapple crane, but it was probably about half its size. I mean, you could definitely pick up in a good stack. You could definitely pick up three or four logs um, with that. And I think like some of those kind of mods or something were definitely missing. I would love to see DLC come out with that. I don't know if it will, but I would love to see it. I mean, you know, PC for you know PC and console. I mean, that would definitely be I think some because I I hate the fact that they've kind of neglected. The, uh, the logging part when it was such an integral part of, of how you kind of got along in the, F at the FS15 space. Um, <clears throat> I think it'd be cool to see them kind of bring that stuff back for 17 and do some work on it and actually make it, you know, make, make it good. Don't just kind of do it and throw it in there because you had it and you, just, you can tell no one spend any time on it, but actually spend some time and do it right. Um, I, think that, well, I think that would really go a long way. Yeah, but it's not very good, Philip. It it maybe grabs one, maybe one log. It it, it and it doesn't do that very well. <clears throat> it kind of uses the strap system, but it it doesn't. Uh, the the physics are wonky with the logs, and that's that's the that's the that's the problem with it. What's going on, Spencer? Good to see you, bud. Um, I don't know that any map is coming. I know Mustang Valley Ranch is the one that something on my shoe is doing. He's off of uh, the Mappers Paradise, which is a PC mod group that uh, kind of in the same group with Oxygen David. And uh, there's a couple more guys uh, that, that mod out of that crew. Uh, he's with one of them. Yeah, logging is broke. I mean, you you got to be, in all honesty, you have to be really good at uh, you have to be really good at logging to even do it in 17. You really do. Um, not to mention on multiplayer, which a lot of people would do. I mean, I, I would love to do logging multiplayer, but yeah, it's so, it's, it's so freaking hard on console. Um, just because of the lag between the different implements and tools that you're using, log forks are five foot away from the front loader, and I mean, it's just. They never fixed the, uh, I mean, thank God means they never fixed the, uh, the, the tail handler, uh, log. And even if you use the CSZ, and I did try to use the CSZ pack with some logs, and it doesn't grapple and pinch the log. Um, you know, it just, it grapples and holds it like, you know, any of the rest of it does. Um, but it's, uh, you know, if you're moving around, uh, on a field, you're, you're not going, you're not going to be able to pick all that stuff up. So, it's kind of a shame. I mean, 
Because it was really good in seven. I mean, in fifteen. I mean, that was what hooked me in the farm sim, and I was really looking forward. If anything, I was looking forward to logging to really kind of come full, full tilled, full, full throttle uh, in seventeen, and it just literally came out with nothing. I mean, I, I, I really surprised. <clears throat> There you go, 65, yeah, 635D Tiger Cat. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> the battle across the room. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Walter. They um, now I do know the guy. At least as far as I know, he's still working on the the Bjorn Home FS17. And to my assumption, he was going to make it for console and PC, but you know, you know as well as I do. You never know what those, uh, you know, what those guys are actually going to do with some of their stuff. I mean, you know, sometimes I think they mean well, and sometimes it's just they just they don't ever, they just don't, they just don't get done with the map. You know, real life sets in, or some other, you know, some other event takes place. But I, I haven't heard anything out of his for a while because everyone's been stuck on this big bud stuff ever since they announced it. So. I would like to see that one come back, um, and like I said, I would love to see them kind of, you know, make some amends with the logging side, because that map, Bjornholm, by far out of anything we've gotten so far, that was the best for areas of logging. I mean, I love that area. I mean, I actually felt like an area that would be forestry land, you know, wasn't like a, a rural kind of suburban, uh, suburbia town with a forest in it that you're kind of... You know, that's like two acres and took every tree out of it in like a couple afternoons. Yeah, it was the best laid out map. I, I, I would totally agree with you. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm with you, Spencer. I mean, I, I kind of I say all that with uh, a little bit of a grain of salt. All I was saying is that you just have to be really good with logging to really be able to do much of it in, in, in 17. Um, if you're kind of learning how to do it, I mean, honestly, it would be best to, to go up to, uh, to 17. And uh, I mean to 15 and learn to log on 15 because it was actually a lot better on 15. <laughs> All right, let's see. I guess we'll just set these up in here for right now. I've got everything else in here. I need to see if uh, you know what. Let's 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 uh, let's do a little construction here. Let's see. Let's see, I don't know that it'll let me put this down here. Yeah, probably not, because I know I'd be right there on the cement. Um, well, I can do that. Let's see. How close can I get? Not very close. <clears throat> well, let's see. How close can I get? All right, that close. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, that's alright. I'll bring my will up. Oh, shoot. Dadgummit. I didn't realize the plants were there. I can get rid of all this grass, but I can't get rid of the plants. Dang it. The knuckle boom. Pfft. I hate that thing. That is a... There was a devil of equipment, man. That was it. Yep. I agree wholeheartedly with you there, Walter. Yeah, the sheep was, yeah, I hated that too. And it was always, you couldn't really have a big operation. Yeah, it had to be actually fairly small. Let's see. I don't know where I'm going to do with this. I'll just go put it over here out of the way. Because I'll try to keep this up over here since this is going to be a lot of, uh, probably my second home base over here. I doubt I really go much over to the right side. I might do uh, seven and eight. Go ahead and extend that. Just make it all one field. Um... That would be fairly easy to do, but um, see, the only thing is, you, you there would be definitely some uh, there would be some space and some room for stuff. But you look at like 11, 12, 10, 21, 13, like that would be prime time real estate there to be able to extend all that into one field. But with all the roads in there, it makes it tough to do it. Yep, I'm with you, Walter. Uh, yeah, I do, Philip. 
uh, you can erase that with the wheel. I know the grass will erase, but you can't. I couldn't erase those big old stupid green plants, so that's why I sold it. <laughs> I'm not sure if you have. You might have to erase it before you put it down, but I'm not sure. What is going on, Tavin? Good to see you, bud. Uh, let's see which way. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you could do 119 because it's got a uh, dirt road in between there. Yeah, you're right about that. Um, just about everywhere else, at least as far as I know, you could combine 4 and 5. Um, that's got a, a simple put together. Then you got 11 and 12. Basically groups of 2 for most of this. Um, there's not too much out there that you can really... They've got pretty much a road that runs between everything. Did I miss... Oh, yeah. I was about to say, wait a minute. I missed my turn here. Oh, you can plow the concrete. Well, see, the thing, though, though, if it's a road that, that holds traffic, does the traffic still travel across the road? <laughs> Might be kind of fun, actually, though. <laughs> if you go over there plowing the field, or over there looking, here goes, drives a, a Chevy F-150 right through the middle of your cornfield. <laughs> Yeah, Steve, I think it comes out, it's uh, May 7th or 9th. It's one of the two. Um, I can't remember exactly what the date on it, but I'm, it's one of those. May 9th, there you go. I think someone too. I, I'm just just kind of sparked in my mind here. Um, I think someone said something about the. Uh, I need to go back and look. I said I was going to do it. I will do that for um, maybe neither maybe at the halfway point here or something. I will look and go see what I can find. Um, I'll look and see if I can find that post on. Or if anybody else is very active in the forums, you might be able to find it on the um, the diesel stuff. Um, if you can tell me which section it's in, I can pull it up on here. I, you can't uh, put links on here if you're not. Um, if you're not me or I think a modder, I, th I mean a uh, moderator, not a modder. <laughs> um, but I need to check on that. I, I need to tell you guys and show you where you can kind of follow that stuff. And I don't think you have to be any kind of a uh, member or anything. So if you want to kind of keep up with a few of these forum topics that we do kind of come across from time to time, um, I certainly can try to keep you guys in the know during the chats. Oh, yeah. I hear you, Walter. Well, I guess the main thing is, do you feel like you got your money's worth? I mean, because essentially you're going to have the Coon DLC and the Big Bud is going to pay for season pass, and you still got a year's and a half worth of DLCs to, to get. Yeah, it might have been Austin. Oh, shoot. I didn't. All right. There we go. <laughs> now we're good. Yeah, I'll have this sucker done in about three and a half passes. Oh, no, I don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want that. Forgot this is my new one. The Optima 5 sewing machine. And you just go check out. I, I, I'm not up on my Optimus here. <laughs> I, I, I'm guessing that's a small one. So, <laughs> uh, sewing machines. Oh, we're gonna go back all the way. Oh, nice man. <laughs> You're rolling in the four and a half. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's see. Let's. Uh... Alright, need to hurry up and can this guy. Uh, 
I'm still getting, I'm not sure exactly what my thing is, but I'm still getting uh, a little bit of frame rate loss up towards that end. This is the north end of the field, so this is pretty much looking up towards the shop. I'm not exactly sure, but I want to say it might be a field texture. Because some of these fields, see, when I look around, I get pretty nice smooth frames, but then when I get over here, it gets a little bit gets a little bit sour on this barley. So maybe, uh, maybe if we get something else growing there, maybe it'll be better. I hear you, Walter. Oh, just banged into well, whoever's driving that. Could be Valerie. Could be Benson. Might be Michael. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes, they are coming out with trucks, Steven. They're um, coming out with a couple of dualies. Um, I'm not. I have not actually seen the one. I think that Walter was talking about. I haven't seen. I've seen the one where the guy's taking basically the Lizard F-150 that comes, um, you know, in in the generic vanilla game. Um, he's basically chopped off the cab, and uh, it's uh, field 20. Hey, he's chopped off the cab, and he's he's extended the back out, so it. It kind of looks half dually, half F-150. Um, I, I would, I would love to, I would love to see them actually come out with a, you know, like a, a true, like an F-350 with a big old front grille and big old front headlights. And I mean, heck, even the 3500 of Dodge. I mean, I would love to see like all three of those um, major, major truck brands come out. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Oh, look, it's Valerie. We must have fired Benson. I think he showed up to work one day, and we got rid of him after one time. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, as far as I know, they're going to have... Uh, wait a minute, What? what is... Uh, why do I have a strip running down the middle of this? That is weird. Okay. Yeah, I've seen some of the goose snakes. I know. I know. Uh, I always catch up and and try to watch raging and AKs when I can. And um, I, I love their their truck mods they get to run with on PC. They're super super slick. I like them a lot. All right, let me let me make sure I'm getting everything here. Well, it helps if you turn the dadgum thing on. There we go. Let's try this again. There we go. That got it that time. Um, so now I, I do not know when it comes out. Um, doing field 16 and a lot of frame issues, huh? Um, let's see, 16, okay, well, you're up there on the, it might be depending on what, uh, what's around you, man, see if there's any barley fields growing, I mean, it may be this, um, and not the barley stalks, but maybe what's growing, what's coming out of the ground, uh, maybe that texture over a long, a long period of time there is, is much, but then again, where I'm at is the whole entire city, so it, there's no telling, man, what, what might really be going on here. And no, I don't. I don't really know when any of this is coming out, Steve. Um, it might. Uh, yeah, I know the one guy. I mean, that's doing the Lizard F-150 build. Uh, it's somewhat similar. I mean, I think it was a couple weeks ago. I mean, he was hoping that he would have this in in testing fairly soon. Um, so I, I don't. I, you know, as as for how soon that was or is going to be, you know, I have no idea. And he doesn't either. I mean, I think Giants just kind of marches to the beat of their own drums sometimes when it comes to their mods and how they test them. I honestly think they just kind of come up to it whenever they come up to it. There's just no real rush on anything. It's a lot better, Philip. I mean, it, there, there's. I definitely um, noticed too south of like where the cow area is. I don't get nearly as much the biogas. I don't get nearly as much jumpiness in there. I think part of it was he had uh, the FS17 trees scattered everywhere, and I think he's thinned all that out. And I think that's uh, that's helped a lot.
<laughs> Austin Walter, that's like the two, that's like the two, that sums up the console life on the forums. You're exactly right, dude. I would be passing them out like wildflowers, although I think some of them just wouldn't work. Um, they've got their rules, they've got their methods. I mean, I don't think anybody really disputes that. Um, actually, let me see if I can do this on the next pass. Hang on, let me, uh, let me throw some, let me throw some focus down right here. Yeah, if I was, if I could, quick, I could get it right now. Sabotage your, uh, I'm going to need you to hold right there. Yeah, it's a good map, man. Yeah, and, and Walter's right. There's a uh, If you don't know, if you're curious as to when maps, I mean, maps and mods and other stuff will come out, um, there is a, uh, there's a, if you go to, I think it's the modding section or it's the info section, one of the two on the forums, they actually have uh, a topic opened up to what they're actually testing on console and PC. Um, and it's actually pretty cool. Yes, Mr. it is. Uh, it's uh, it's a new one. Uh, it only comes in the in the color of navy, flat navy, uh, from the Mech Core. <laughs> and uh, let's see, what is? Uh, whoops, wrong buttons, wrong buttons. Here we go. Nope, 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 nope. There you go. So the Galera, fifty-five thousand liters. So, um, you know, in the grand scheme of things, your other truck ones are 49,000 and 59,000, and this comes in at 55,000. So, you know, for, for one to, to put in right here, not too shabby. Not too shabby. I don't think I'm going to get this one. This field's not long enough to do this. So what you do is you get up here, you stop him, and <laughs> then you run out and you stop this guy. Yeah, just like that. Works every time. <laughs> well, I I don't think there's any I don't think there's any um I I, I really think they're they're trying to get stuff out. Uh, it may not be necessarily at the speed we want. Okay, yeah, I just clicked at an hour, so that would be right. I appreciate whoever number 638 was. Little privateer uh, subscriber. Appreciate that, whoever it was. Ah, I turned it off. Um, let's see what we got. Okay, so a few of the rules are Austin, and, and I'll say this, and I've, I've said this a few other times, so I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean,. You know, I think it's good to it's good for people to know what the rules and stipulations are, uh, and then that way you can kind of take into account, you know, how you feel about the way certain things are handled, and you know, it, it's definitely uh, shaped my thoughts on just how things operate in the farm sim world, especially when it comes to a console versus PC. Um, I think that always gets thrown around a lot because PC obviously gets a lot more, and I think Giants is pretty. Um, they're pretty adamant about the fact that, well, if you want all the mods and you want the stuff, then save money and buy a PC. I think that they pretty much will say that anytime they're faced with it because I think the way they look at it, they look at it completely from a business perspective of we are offering console guys. Basically, we'll call this a beta build of Farm Sim. They get the full thing uh, in the full experience if they move over to PC. I still think they, it's kind of like Euro Truck. Imagine if Euro Truck or American Truck Sim came out, and I was referring to this last night. Imagine if that came out on console. We wouldn't get everything that they get, but we would get some of the things that started coming out mod-wise. Um, you know, on console anyway, at least if, it's, if they use the same uh, elements that uh, Giants used. Um, so, I mean, I think the, the possibility would be there, but still, from a business perspective, console is still just not numero uno on their on their things to do but you got to look at guys that go from console they graduate through a version they come into the next version and then they left wanting more and more and more and more and more and we've seen already in 17 how many uh, and how much the mods 
make to extending the game. Maybe not necessarily all the ways we'd like to see it, um, but definitely uh, from the perspective of looking at mods on a vanilla-based game like what we had with FS17 versus now what we have with, with 17, I mean 15 versus now what we have with 17, it's night and day. So even if you are a console player, you got to realize that it's like, yeah, we, we pretty much have it pretty good on 17. Even though we get mad and complain about it all the time, um, it's still something that I think Giants looks at and says, we don't have to give you what you have. Um, you know, we're, we're choosing for you guys to be able to do that. I know we don't like to feel like we're the, you know, we're, we're the hand-me-down, but I think in just reality, that's just what you've got to accept. So once you know that, you actually go to the mods, looking for mods to see what they're doing. You can at least kind of keep up with things, but the rules are pretty crazy because um, they've got quite oh, Let me get the dog out. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Take it out in old school, Philip. <clears throat> he's pretty good about letting me know, but once he's got to go, man, he's got to go. <laughs> Why did I not... I thought I dumped that out. Now, oh, there we go. <clears throat> Yeah, no, I'll lie, um, no, I hear you, I hear you, Austin. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Chad Millitime? What's happening? I'm hyped to do something nice. <laughs> Y'all were going to laugh, man. I'm going to tell you what kind of dog I got. <laughs> it's a Yorkie. <laughs> it's my wife's dog. But, you know, it's kind of like a kid when they want an animal. I'll take care of it, Daddy. Nah, they won't. Alright, let's see here. So, I guess I have to find somewhere to put these things. Because I'm pretty much done until, um, well, let's see, besides seeding, I need to say that, um, besides uh, chopping, chopping the corn, um, everything else is pretty much done. So I've got this whole left corner of the map, so um, I guess we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll take this somewhere down there. Or maybe we'll pull it in that field over there uh, south of the, um, down there where my cow, my all my uh, bales and stuff are. Maybe we'll pull up this stuff down there. <laughs> Walter. <laughs> Yeah, it's all right, man. He's a good dog. It's just, you know, I'm not a big yapper. I was always a lab and a golden retriever guy growing up, and that's what we always kept. And, yeah, it's my wife had this before, so I, I have vowed that once this dog passes and we have more that's lost, then we will go back to a lab and, uh, and Goldie's. <laughs> all right, Spencer Bud. 
Thanks for stopping in, man. Always great to see you. Glad you enjoyed it. Don't forget to throw a little bit of a like on the way out the door. We promise if you do like the video, the door will not hit you on the way out. <laughs> yeah, mine's, mine's okay with storms. She doesn't, uh, well, he, not she. Uh, he doesn't get too bent out of shape about that. It's birds, man. God, birds and squirrels. Oh, my goodness. If he sees a bird hit the ledge outside on the porch, man, he just goes crazy. <laughs> well, you're a guy. <laughs> That's all it needed to be said right there. Girlfriend's making me sleep on the couch. She's man, no, no clue what you did. Well, you, I, you know what? We're, we're just going to have to get you and Bear. Man, we're going to have to get you, uh, your girlfriend, and Bear and his girlfriend, and y'all going to have to go see counselors together. <laughs> <laughs> till she can't do it till she gives you a valid reason hey look at here completely random why don't we just put it right here let's see what else we can do right here this would actually be a good little place aha look at what blind squirrel stumbled across a nut Now, get it lined up, and this will actually work out really good. Let's get it centered. All right, that's uh, that's good enough. Oh, it can't be placed here. Why not? Oh, too close. What about over here? All right, let's do it on this side. <laughs> not yet, Chevy boy. I really, I mean, I'm serious about this. I have not gone off that bridge since the very beginning. I went off at one time not paying attention, and that was the last time. And that was when I was just kind of rolling through the map, just kind of looking around, you know. And then I was like, reset. Hey, look at there. Perfect. I like it. And that gets me, uh, that gets me away from the, uh, I guess you could probably put both of these up right here and unhook them. I'm a little bit of an organizational freak when it comes to some of this stuff. Whoops, whoops, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> Women are stranger things. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good one, Austin. I guess Bear's on the road again, so prayers for Bear. Alright. That worked out surprisingly well. I like it when the old uh, blind squirrel stumbles across a nut. Pickup took a dive. <laughs> yeah. I've got some good close calls. This <laughs> my better be where I parked it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <laughs> you mean uh you mean the semi on uh Thornton Bay? I mean Thornton Farm? Thornton Bay. That's good. <laughs> Poor bear. Well, hopefully that's not the case. Let's see. Let's do this the easy way. Let's, uh... There we go. A backup action there. All right. <laughs> oh, man. We're so bad. Talking about a man when he can't defend himself. Shame on y'all. <laughs> well, at least we know we don't have to take out the uh, search crew and the... Uh, uh, the search crew and the uh, uh, the milk carton ads. <laughs> Let's dump those. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a good one, Michael. <laughs> Yeah, this this tractor. I mean, the tractor. This trailer just screams. I don't know. This thing just screams like I don't know. I've got a vial full of chicken blood or chicken guts in this thing, or I've got a bunch of dead chickens from the farm. I mean, I don't know. It just, it just screams like something bad has happened. <laughs> I don't know. It's got that junkyard. That's what it is. It's got that junkyard uh, trailer feel to it, where they've got a bunch of metal piled into it. That's what that's what that trailer reminds me of. It finally hit me. Alright, let's see if any let's see if Barley's bring anything right now. I'll just go take us off and sell it. Not really, but Valley Grains it will do. Where is Valley? Valley Grains, there it is. Alright. Yeah, Walter man, some some people like that. Little whip whip, a spank spank. What's up, stunt? How are you doing? <laughs> oh man, we see Austin. You gotta you gotta know when to score these brownie points, man. That's when you gotta take her out there. You gotta find somebody else's. That's the key. It can't be your own straight drive. You've got to find someone else's straight drive. Preferably Honda CRX ish. Let her learn on that. Then, if she sees you taking an interest in her, then no more sleeping on the couch, no more in the doghouse. Everything's good. Gotta turn situations like that, man. You gotta turn those into, into powers, power plays, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I was hoping it wasn't gonna go there, and it went there really fast. Let's see whose field is this? Not my own. Sorry. Whoops! Look at that. Where's my out of this? Oh my gosh! You really? Oh no! Here we go. Man, that was a nasty track right there. I didn't know I could actually make the tracks on them. <laughs> Not when there's somebody else's field, because I don't own these. Well, yeah, now, if you're in that situation there, what, what the heck am I trying to do? Why, why, why don't you guys say that, man? Y'all let me struggle on stream? Y'all probably sitting there going, man, what is Full doing, man? He's driving around like a crazy man. Y'all gotta help a bro out next time, man. I say how much I hate these offload points. So stupid. Oh. oh, look at that. We got a sound. Oh, what is that? Seriously, we couldn't put a, a gray texture in there? Does have a, a sound though, that's kinda cool. That's something we... Huh. Well, thanks guys, pretty appreciate that. that I, I really feel the... Whoop, whoop, we're going up again. We got a nice hydraulic sound in there. I don't, I don't know what it's doing. Okay, there it goes. Hey, what's up, Justin? <laughs> no way, if <laughs> you too tight. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, pulling an FTG. That's it, man. It's a new maneuver of the day. Oh my gosh, this stupid dog. Ugh. Huh. 
Okay, I may be up one more time. <laughs> That's right, Walter man. According to Michael, you just pulled almost pulled an FTG. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get this down here on the firm or the yard, as some farm simmers would call it. Like it's not a yard. The yard's jail prison outdoors and something that you play in. Yeah, I actually like that trailer. I'm, I actually I actually like it. I actually like it a lot. Alright, so let's go ahead and run these bad boys out there. Um, Let me see how much those are. Let me see if I can get three of those going. I'm going to need two. That would be a challenge. Running all three of those by myself. Let's see. So I got the money for it. What's the horsepower? 180. <laughs> you like you swallow it, Chuck. <laughs> why? Why do you like skip jumping from nine to? Uh, I have no idea, Benson. I have absolutely no no idea why they're jumping from nine to twenty six. All right, so we'll buy one more of these, and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and pull it with the old old Val. Good old Val never lets me down. Oh my gosh, hang on. Okay, I'm back. Oops. Let's see here. I think I got uh, 17. I know it's done, so I don't know. Maybe at some point I need to buy 18. I forgot to do that the other day. That was another good FTG fail. One for the blooper reel. <laughs> Watching me trying to seed 18. <laughs> <laughs> Let you take a blanket. <laughs> Honey, can I have a blanket? I bet so, James. It's about like giving a sixth grader porn. Let's go this way. And I got all my refill stuff up at the biogas, so I will roll up there and we will throw it down up there. We'll go see if we can get all three of these bad boys going. You usually can, you just gotta you gotta you gotta space them out enough. Uh wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. Ah oh, shoot, made the wrong turn. I was about to say, is it a full moon? <laughs> I 
All right, there we go. Now, now we're uh, now we're going the right way. Other than that, I hope you're having a good night, Chuck. Let's fill up here, and then we'll, uh, I guess we'll tackle, uh, uh, I'd say probably 19 will be my best candidate to start off first. Only thing, let's see, let me see how close these are. Okay, they're not too bad. Only one in between them, so that'll work. Lot of fertilizer. I got things taking forever. Yeah, <clears throat> <laughs> no way, Austin. <laughs> I was about to say, I wonder if that's what Bear's wife did to him or girlfriend. <laughs> was it crazy in a good way or crazy in a bad way? Because <laughs> that makes all the difference in the world. That makes the difference of whether or not anybody laughs at that joke or not. <laughs> Alright, James, you have a good one, bud. Good to see you as always. Take it easy. Oh, dear Lord. Fill up already. Alright. So let's, uh, let's mosey on down. Yeah, let's move you on over to. S so let's see, on seventeen's done. All right, yeah, let's let's cut on up. We'll go to the north end here. We'll start on the north end to come down on nineteen. Yes, sir, man. We'll see you. Yeah, and, and honestly, I, I really don't mind the prep work. Um, I won't necessarily. Yeah, you know, it was like I always say. I'm always, I'm always up for. Oh, and by the way, too, this is actually a really decent area. This whole entire sector, from the water tower all the way down here, to put up some sheds and put up some other uh, vehicle holders <clears throat> in there. Plus, you've got a drop off. Um, and just just a you know just a 411 on that I've actually thought about bringing some farm stuff up here because uh, you still it's like you had this half thought out area here that maybe was going to be something but they changed their mind <laughs> they don't wind up being something else I mean I don't know what was really supposed to be in those pins but I think it's quite obvious something was supposed to be in there so might be something on a PC I'm not sure if this map ever made it there but anyway it ramble all night long <coughs> Bad way. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good, Austin. That, that's actually really good. That's a good one. <laughs> I know you don't think so, but I think I think so. I wish the 8700 Massey sounded like the 77. Like, was that too much to ask Giants? This sounds exactly like stinking Fent. I don't like that tractor sound. Not in this game. <laughs> and it's not yours. <laughs> or she could have surprised you with some, some printout uh, Mari Povich uh, you're not the father. <laughs> DNA test results tickets.
Yeah, some some of those. Uh, sorry, I completely misread your your comment there, Walter. I read it again, and now I know what you're actually getting at. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna take a while. I don't know if it, maybe they can maybe they can mess with the fill rates on those particular ones. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it comes from the mod itself or if it comes in the implement or the you know the the trailer itself, whichever you're filling. Uh, big thing with doing uh, doing two or three of these in a process is making sure that they're all set to the same thing, because if you don't, you will uh, you'll definitely screw up big on this one. So make sure they're all uh, what they need to be. <laughs> how, uh, if you don't mind me asking, Austin, how old are you? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. If some people are picky about their age. <laughs> That's a good one, Michael. <laughs> Michael just sent me a uh, just sent me some something uh, on PSN here. <laughs> That's good, man. Knocked over a whole uh, a whole load of bells and he pulled an FTG, man. He said, "See what happens when you're playing and watching FTG on your phone." <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <clears throat> all right now so i've got one in the middle here i've got this stupid thing now i'm gonna try this um this may actually work sometimes if you've got something set in the middle if you reset it get that it gets it out of the uh the change so let's see all right so we go from there to there to there so boom 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 so that's how this has got to happen Corn on that one. I need to give this one some time. Oh, what the heck? Let's say you're gonna have to pick up the pace there, pal. I love doing this. It's a lot easier to do with the uh, the cedars. This is my favorite thing. I love doing this right here. The management side of this is like is the is the uh, best part. I can see where this is going. What you talking about? Y'all act like this is my first rodeo, man. Let the uh, convoy commence. So really, it's only about three. I'd say about three and a half trips, and we'll have this whole thing done. Oh, come on, guys, have some faith. Gosh, man, no faith tonight. Y'all shove your smiley face. Smiley face. <laughs> Man, no love, no love. It's terrible. Colt Ford's first of the convoy stuck in my head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
as this pretty much works the same exact way except you have to pull the first one straight the second one has to pull out to the right and straight if that makes sense and then when this guy that I'm in right now makes the turn then you get the middle guy and then you get the other guy and fold him in and then do it all over again it actually works a little bit better when they they're a little bit further space but you can't let them get too far because if not you're sitting there waiting for the other cedars to catch up and it just takes forever to do it that way so we'll uh this actually works good because we won't have any kind of uh stuff up there on the front side so that works this will work good i do have okay good everything's corn <laughs> yeah. alright so we'll move this guy out of the way there's one for you wait on you the good thing about this especially if you've got manual tra uh, manual ignition on there's one for you so pretty much I'll stay in this one and then let uh let home slice up there make his turn because I'm sure he'll take four miles to do it oh good grief really you gotta swing that far out come on man oh I'm surprised Let him get going a little bit. Alright, we'll start him down. And then we'll get this guy coming in. See, FTG fail my butt. This was almost like clockwork, but uh, it was pretty good. Where's my where's my line? What's up, Nicholas? I like that. That spelling doesn't seem American, though. Because we would have uh, vowels in between the K and the L, so... Doesn't matter. Welcome. Thanks for the sub. Mr. 639, appreciate that, bro. Yeah, y'all, I'll be taking my ideas now. <laughs> We're in the merger. <laughs> this is how we're going to have to do uh, the Big Bud DLC. When you get to the... the um, and the hardest part about this is doing the, uh, um, shoot, I just lost the word, the harvesters. So if you're going to do harvesters, you may have to do like three or four at a time. If you don't have collisions or don't have anything kind of hedges at the end of the, 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 you know, the field, then it's going to work fine. And if you start them all over the same point, the thing is, you understand, like, when you do that off at the same point, they're all going to stop at the same point. So you can usually wait until they've all had their fill and they're all fixing to um, um, they're all fixing to be offloaded um, and then you can just offload the first one let him go offload the second let them go in the third and then keep on rolling that's typically how I do it so you can still use this same exact feature and honestly as big as the field in as much time you can we could probably actually add one more behind there um, but um, Nah, I'll stick. I'll stick with three because three three actually is going to work pretty quick. I mean, I think maybe two more passes up and back. <laughs> Can you rearrange my merger? <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> well, who put it there? It doesn't go there. <laughs> All right, we're just going to pull this guy straight up out of the way here. That way, make room.
Uh, I'm going to. <laughs> What's wrong, man? You gotta you gotta beef against uh, Xbox people. <laughs> I was waiting for the Corleone quote. You're dead to me. Oh, kind of missing it. Let me get that back in line there. There we go. Now we're good. If you hate Sony, you're phony. Oh my god. Man, you went deep in the pit for that one. <laughs> Sony and phony. I guess there is a good one for Xbox. Hmm. What is that, Austin? Did y'all did y'all think I was going to fail and and royally just fall on my face on that one? <laughs> y'all are y'all surprised I'm actually actually doing this? <laughs> yeah, Forza. Yeah, I didn't mind Forza. I I played um I played Horizon. Of course, there's a lot of people that said they didn't really like Horizon either. It was a different Forza. I mean, just didn't have the, the same character. But I mean, I I don't know. I my favorite one by far was Drive Club. Um, and and golly, Pete, man, they they pulled out the bikes on that drive club bikes. Woo, man, it's a it's a tough cookie, man. That's a that's a heck of a good looking game. You know, it's it's amazing to me that you can see the amount of uh, work that goes into creating those maps and those tracks. I mean, they're literally, you know, they're creating long folds of stuff. And I realize you got draw distances, a lot of things that come into play, but it amazes me that they can make those games look the way they do. But then you come back over to Farm Sim, and then, you know, we've kind of got these dull, kind of non-shiny textures, or everything's real flat and real dull looking. It's just amazing to me. Then you go play Drive Club, and you're like, you've got to be kidding, right? Like, I mean, in, in a way, sometimes playing Farm Sim feel like you're playing last-gen stuff. Oh, <laughs> that was low, Benson. That was low, bro. New Hot Wheels DLC. Was an empty bus. Best thing to come out of it was an. I don't get that. Uh, was the best thing. It was an empty bus. I'm obviously missing something on that one. You might have to elaborate more on that. <laughs> Where you at, Benson? You said uh, uh, in the stream earlier. You said it was like it was like uh, two something. It was one up for me. Are you like at the uh, uh, Nova Scotia, or British Columbia area? Wow, over my head. Yeah, I'd, I guess you're saying all the people that got on the bus got off in North Carolina. I guess that's what you're. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. 
Whoa, is this 220 there now? Greenland? That's the east of Nova Scotia and British Columbia. Um, oh, Newfoundland. Okay. Nice. I was about to say, man, it's cold on Greenland. <laughs> well, I know where it's at. I just didn't know. Uh, you said that, and the only thing I think of was east. Like, no, like, I need to go way further. Google it. I didn't want all my stuff to grow, but I really, really, really want this back in the daytime. So much easier in the daytime. I just didn't want all my corn to start growing in. I guess from this point, I mean, the only thing is you got the uh, the big sprayer back over there. Uh, I bet I know what's wrong. Yeah, I'll have to go fix that. Yeah, Chad, it's a um, it's a good one. I mean, it's 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 got it's. Uh, I think it's like anything, you know. It's it's user content created, so I mean, you got to take that into account. But I mean, it's it's got its uh, it's got its strong points, and it's and it's got uh, it's got a few weak points on it. But I mean, for the most part. This is definitely, uh, I don't know, I mean, I, if, you know, if you were to say to give this a grade score, I'd definitely give this really high B pluses, if not into the A range. I mean, it's just, it's just a solid map. I mean, it doesn't have forestry on it, which some people would be a little peeved about, but I think there is a one little area. I'm not even sure if you can get to it, but, yeah, it's that area, like, right over there. I don't even know if you can get up there, but there's a ton of trees up there. It's all you can cut down all those. Thank you to whoever subbed there. I can don't even know how to even begin on that name. So welcome, C plus. You're a C plus. Oh, what the heck? What is this sub goal? What the heck is that? Where the heck did that come from? Ah, uh, my B. Sorry about that. <laughs> no. All right. All right. So they're going to be done down there. So I guess we'll just go ahead and let's move. Let's see. Seventeen's done. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. All right. I'll go ahead and slow it down now. Yeah, I was about to say, man, that's Giant's Island. Yeah, I, I would probably agree with that. I don't know C plus is actually giving out a little bit more than it should. And it actually, you know, in all honesty, Giant's Island is actually not bad when it comes to just the fields. Um, if you're just talking fields, just talking that kind of stuff, then it's fine. It's just when you get all the other extra areas, the the towns, the the cheesy roundabout there. Uh, that was I don't know. That was a little over the top. I was like, oh gosh, just, you're killing me, Smalls. But the rest of it, oh shoot, I didn't cultivate that. All right, well, uh, back up north we go. Um. I will cultivate that and we'll uh we'll run sixteen. Let me knock it out with a couple couple of these guys. 
Yeah, no, it, it didn't translate all that well. It was still pretty wide open, so if you liked the bigger stuff, you know, it was definitely something you could you could wear out a few of those fields and join them together and make big fields, which actually the forestry area wasn't too bad on it. I tell you, Drummond Farm has a really good forestry area. Um, it's just hard getting the trucks down there. Um, but they, they actually have a really, really, really nice nice area. Um, that, that's a shame. Drummond Farm's actually a good map. It just wasn't my speed or my style. I got into it and I kind of liked it, and then I kind of didn't like it. Oh, uh, I got to yeah, two stone grains and spinnery. You would give Drummer an A. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so there's 17. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, lordy. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and let them go while I get these guys down there. I oh, need to give it a try, Stephen. Um, it's based in Ireland, um, but it's... Um, it's tight. It's a really small map uh, from from the perspective of doing animals on it. The sheep's in a totally different area. It's nice stuff. The cows is the cow area is really small. I would say that would be a good map for general farming, logging. Forestry area on it is great, which I'm thinking about going back and doing another mod map on just like um, you know whether it's small, medium scale farming using the buffalo using. Um, you know, using some of the other various odds and ends that we got, just to kind of pay us off a little bit of time here until we get to May 9th uh, and pull this <laughs> straight to the gutter. <laughs> yeah, leave it to Benson, man. That's kind of where he stays, man. He did take it there with the quickness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you had everybody now, you probably need to. <laughs> That's what I've always heard. <laughs> well, if you haven't heard it by now, you probably need to. Because <laughs> it's getting a little bit sketchy with you not. <laughs> Good Lord, how much room do you need? And this is why you can't plant corn with a regular tractor in anything that's not like this, open hedges. Just just doesn't happen. Least favorite map. Oh boy, that's a... Uh, I don't really... Well, let's see. Giants is up there. Giants Island. Man, I don't know that I really have. Uh, probably Goldcrest. Ah, uh, me and Walter think alike. Yep, same here. I don't know, maybe it's because I dumped so many hours in it early on. Um, most of them I don't hate. That's one I hate, and I think it's just because I got so old of it. And, and I got so sick and tired. You know, you... 
and actually the one thing that I don't like about this this particular map is I don't like all the roads are dead straight um, I, I like a map that challenges you to drive and challenges your driving skills inside the sim I mean even if it's trivial um, whether you're going up and down hills and you've got to manage your brakes going down stuff to keep the the trailer from jackknife and I mean I there's a few things I wish Giants would kind of implement in their sim and future releases that um, you know kind of what in the world oh as I was falling too close yep I'm with you Walter I've got one it's got more than a more than a couple mil on it done the legit way and uh, I don't, it's just, I don't know. I, I think it's just overplayed the map, and I never got a chance to really get it out of rotation um, before Chillington walked in. I actually really like Chillington, but I think some of that's because I liked it because it was the first mod map we had. I, and I think honestly, if I were to, if I were to sit down and, and think about a, an honest response to that, I, I, that'd probably be the first place I'd go with it. I'm gonna go ahead and let the worker go ahead and roll on this too. Got dead gum spider. Spider monkey going to fertilize the fields. Yes. Uh, well, that's the same thing I was talking about earlier. Um, so the one thing on this map that is the only lacking thing, and it's not really his fault. It's just the generic gold crest stuff that we got. Because um, that's all, every building, all the downtown areas, all the, the silos. I mean, the, everything's straight up out of, out of gold crest. Um, so it would have been nice to have some custom prefab stuff. I know there was quite a bunch of prefab, but I guess evidently he wanted to use Goldcrest stuff, which is fine. It's his prerogative to do what he wants to do with it. Um, but yeah, it would have been it would have been nice to see some of that stuff added in. I doubt he probably has, but maybe one or two. I don't, I'm not sure how many sell items because I know the one uh, the one map he put up there. Ooh, excuse me. Um, just had, um, I think he had, I don't think he had any icons or nothing on it. Not even numbers. Yeah, that's probably the only thing that um, I didn't like about Coldboro. Um, I did do quite a bit of grass cutting on that one and did quite a bit of uh, just regular baling and, um, you know, the straw and stuff. There was a few, um, there were a few, ba a few, uh, fields on there that weren't too bad um, but it was just so hard to try to you know make two rounds and then come back and then have to pick up all the little pieces in the field there was there's was parts of it that that really got annoying challenging was you know an understatement on that map from console um, you have to be one of those guys that's dedicated to you know doing every option that you have to do walking from you know plowing cultivation to seeding back to you know, planting and fertilizing and harvesting and all the stuff that goes into it. I, there was just, you have to do pretty much all that by hand. I never did find a really great way to do it with the workers. I mean, there were some of them that worked okay, um, but a lot of them, I, I just never had much. And that was right before they supposedly, quote unquote, fixed a lot of that stuff. So I'd be interested to go back and see how it actually, um, I'd be interested to go back and see how it actually farms now that they've they've had a couple of couple of times to work on some things. Get down here and straighten out my rat's nest. Hmm. Old stream. Yeah, you know. I, I was I was in the middle. I, I'm a I'm a C plus on old stream. I mean, I like it. Uh, I played it a good bit. Streamed it quite a bit. And I think, for the most part, I think people uh, enjoyed seeing the stream of it, but um, I don't know. What's up, Power Stroke? How you doing, man? Yep. 
Yeah, then that's the uh, that's the that's the biggest thing with that one. Um, I got tired of having to go through there in the trees, and then I tried to do it with a, uh, you know, with a, getting a logging and stuff going on that map, and it was all right. It's just too small, and it just really wasn't, really wasn't set for the the style of, of uh, it just really wasn't set for the style that I wanted to farm on that. I know Scott; he's a big fan of uh, Old Stream. That's like his favorite map. He looked for that one for months when they finally released it. Man, he's he's been on Cloud Nine ever since. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in and try it and see what it does and see what things look like. So I always like to get on there and see the new updates. Um, but besides this one, I would say at least right now my second one, and I know I'm just doing corn on it right now, but um, you know that would be uh, would probably be Thornton because um, I don't know it's it's uh, out of all the ones that Oxygen David did, it's probably one of his better ones I think. Chillington was good. I'd say a, 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 a tie from Chillington of that. I didn't like Sandy at all. Nah, nah, I didn't like Sandy at all. Hey, but it's, you know, listen, we could we could argue about which one is best and which one's not, but I think that's, this is one of those things, and I, this is why you get, I, I was looking at why the, um, you know, why this, the, 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 the topic was locked, and some of the comments and stuff that roll across that, uh, that farm sim forms all the time. They're they're all centered around this. They're all centered around this idea that uh, you know you've got a couple people that that don't really necessarily believe. I almost say believe giants, but they don't believe that the best foot's been put forward on the mods. And you've got one guy that says something about a mod, and then before you know it, you know people can't talk about some of these things. I mean, I, this is the probably the challenge the map makers make, and that's why I always say like. Always be very respectful of these map, 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 uh, mod and map makers um, because they make things generally for what they want to do and what they want to see. They're not necessarily making it for what people want. Um, so the good thing is, is you do have, at least now, I mean, the cool thing is we have this plethora of maps to choose from because um, obviously Benson doesn't like anything that I like and I don't like anything that he likes. So, you know, it's fine that now we can have you know, an individual experience on farm sim that's not related on me having to deal with what he doesn't like. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, man. Sandy Bay was a joke, dude. It was a joke. <laughs> Callan crops, yes! How many maps am I currently playing? Um, I currently have 10. Everyone, uh, for most of the part, has something different on them. Uh, the past two I've done have been predominantly silage with corn chop. Um, but, um, you know, some of them I've got animals on, some of them I've got logging on. Um, there's a few that's kind of still waiting in the wings because they got updates like old stream got updates so i haven't done that one but i still have the save game from it i'm your costumer <laughs> and costumers are always right <laughs> Uh, there you go. Or what's the other one? Is this the? Is it? Isn't it like? Uh, isn't it like farmer ex expert or something like that? Isn't there another one? 
It's Con so or is it just the pro farmer? I was thinking there was something else like farmer expert or farm expert 2017. Uh, too many peers. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just razzing on you. Yeah, I'd say, you know, actively I would say six. Um, and I guess one of those, I've, I've, uh, ex I've extended and stretched them out as much as I can. So, uh, I guess a lot, a lot needs to be seen here once the DLC comes out. Then I'm going to have to get rid of something if I put, um, if I put Mustang Valley Ranch on there, I'm going to have to put something else. Oh, cattle and crops can definitely compete, but they won't be able to compete on a console level. That's uh, that's the main part. I wish they'd update us to give us more freaking save slots. If we're going to have all these games and not have a way to transfer the game's uh, ownership from one side to the other... Um, yeah, it would be nice. No, I don't think it is, Chad. I think there's still, I think it's still, I don't, as far as I know, I don't know that it ever made it out of crowdfunding, but I don't think I've seen anything, but, uh, they did a, a Joskin trailer, kind of a release of their renders of the Joskin trailer, which I was like, well, we got modders that can do this, but, um, once it does finally drop for PC, that might be, uh, it might be a little bit of a game changer, at least in the PC world. Thanks, Philip. I don't think it's really going to change. Um, I don't think it's going to change console any, because I mean, unless they decide it makes the game overall better. But you got to think, you're not going to get any change until 19 anyway. So, yeah, I'm almost, I'm almost certain it is. Look at there, an old, uh, oh. I don't know if those would have grown in by now. Oh well. So this would be the second stage. So I guess after these things pop up one more time, I'll hit it again. This thing's just uh This guy I could imagine now, now this would be cool too. I mean I know y'all hate this machine here, but you take like three of these and put three of these up on those fields, man, you could you could cover what is this thing? It's like 20-something, ain't it? Let's see. Sprayers. Why did I miss them? Yeah, I must have. I hate searching for crap. I feel like I do it all the damn time. You'd think I'd know where this crap was. What the crap is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, man. Alright, so 36. So, you put three of those suckers together and then threw them up on Mustang, you know, ranch or valley ranch. I mean, you're, you're talking 108 meters of fertilizing power. I mean, that's a lot. Yeah, unexpected. Yeah, I mean... There, there's probably it depends if their game in the finality of that game looks like farm sim and even looks better than farm sim has you know 4k textures and you know just really goes above and beyond because the thing is they're not going to have to try to uh, I don't want to say compete and dumb down so to speak but they're not going to have to try to provide a base version that solves that serves PC as well as serves console. They'll be able to go straight after PC full throttle all the way. Um, so I think you know they may be a little ahead of the game when it comes to that. Um, I mean, if 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 it's ex if it's uh, successful, then uh, you know I, I mean all I can think of if they start peeling off. The, here's the question. If the modding community jumps to cattle and crops the way it's on farm sim, then it's going to be a great competition. But if cattle and crops remains a vanilla game because there's not a big base of modding community, you, gotta, you also got to understand, like it might be great for people to buy it, but I still think they're still going to buy farm sim because of the mods. Um, you know, I was looking and just, uh, you know, AK was streaming uh, Recovery 
today. So people have gone in and done mods of huge, you know, triaxle, um, you know, triple axle um, uh, tow trucks, you know, and, and and they're using those and actually hooking up and pulling trailers and pulling, you know, tractors around and stuff like they're towing them off a farm. I mean, it's ridiculous what they've got now. So if cattle and crops, you know, can can venture into the mine market and and become a thing then it's possible but the thing is you still got to look at you know farm sim has had since like well like farm sim 08 to really build its base up and people may buy cattle and crops but it's, i still think they're going to buy um they're still going to buy farm sim <clears throat> yep yeah, yeah it's I, i'm with you on that walter Yeah, yeah, I'm, I, I think I answer. I, I'm, I'm right with you on that one. Yeah, and it would, it would do good to push Giants a little harder. I mean, right now Giants has got the market cornered, and they know it. Um, yeah, you know, it's like someone trying to come out with a Euro Truck Simulator that's similar, but better in some areas. Part of what makes these games sought after, and the reason why so many console players are looking to make the jump into PC, is for the mods. They're not looking at it from any other any other reason whatsoever. Hey, what's going on, Patrick? You know, because I when I looked at when I bought my PC, um, when I bought it, I didn't look at oh great I can play the same game on a PC. I mean, there's there's some other things I'm interested in, but just from a farm sim, I looked at it as great. This is going to be awesome because I'm going to be able to use some of this stuff that I've kind of been drooling over for you know months. Uh, and I'll be able to really change it up and do something different on stream that'll be able to, you know, exponentially kind of branch out the base, so to speak, for just the channel itself. So, I mean, there was, a, a you know, some some ones and twos as to why I wanted to do it. But still, the, at the end of the day, the, the reason why to buy Farm Sim on, con, I mean, on uh, you know, PC like that would be to get that extra experience out of the game. And if, if Cattle and Crop doesn't deliver on that aspect of it, then I don't I don't think it's going to be any more of a healthy game than any other game that comes out that's that's got this great look to it. I mean the stuff that I've seen in alpha and beta development on their on their YouTube channel and stuff. I mean it's incredible what they're doing with the game. Um, it just depends on whether or not they can get the base to come with them. That's a bad attitude. <laughs> Talking about man, that's reality attitudes. What that is. <laughs> hey, appreciate that, Rad Ox. <clears throat> Thank you for that sub. Shaking my head. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> That's reality. <clears throat> if they don't, if they don't get their money up, and if they don't, uh, I mean, I haven't seen anything out of them out of YouTube in like months. <laughs> John Deere tractor into Peterfield. <laughs> I love the simplicity in that. That's awesome. <laughs>
The closest thing that we would have uh, would be Kloss. I mean, that's that's the only thing we got a prayer for because they kind of already released that they they were coming up with some type of a licensing agreement. And I think that was for mobile. But if they're coming out for mobile, I find it very hard that they couldn't find some agreement to to meet uh, to meet them halfway and and be able to come to some type of an agreement on console PC release of some DLC or even as a base part of the track. I mean, base part of the game. I, I couldn't see that that either one of those would be. Um, you know, would be stymied, especially if they got the mobile release. I mean, I'm not going to say, yeah, I expect Kloss, but I mean, it would almost be stupid to not assume that they're coming. So. <laughs> That's a good one, Ryan. Green Fent and a Barrel Core. Actually, you don't even need the Green Fent. You can get the Green Valtra, paint it green, and then put the wheels green. I mean, put the wheels yellow. And then that was almost my FTG, except it was JCB yellow. If I'd have gone one below New Holland, then I could have had the uh, the John Deere green with yellow wheels. <laughs> Uh, actually reset. I'm gonna I'm gonna take us back down the farm. I would love to put it up on a low loader, but I don't think any of this stuff even half fits. <laughs> yeah it was one thing I kind of was like always disappointed uh, I was kind of like um, I, I guess there was a part of it where I thought another this is where I thought before I actually realized what was going on um, it was another one of those deals where I had really thought about it would be cool thinking into 17 going into 17 thinking about all the new mods I really got to this point where I was like, it would be awesome if these modders were creating skins for these tractors. Because I thought, just like any other game that mods, um, especially any of the Euro Truck, American Truck, if you've played any of those on PC, you know what I'm talking about. And even on, uh, there's quite a bit of that, um, skinning of tractors and those kind of things and doing some, some kind of little bit of custom, uh, not necessarily on the mod hub though. Um, but especially on some of the other PC sites, you'll find tractor skins for a lot of different stuff, different variations of colors, and um, that was something I was always kind of hoping would come to console, and it just it just never did. So I was always disappointed about that one. At some point, I wanted to get some manure in the trailer. I do know that. I am getting... Uh, quite full over there. Not sure to see. Uh, Twenty percent on the slurry, and I'm not sure what if that'll give me a percentage of what it can actually hold. I don't think it will. It'll just tell me how much I have. Let's see. All right. Uh, my favorite tractor. I always go back to it. I don't drive it all the time, um, but I, I always uh, love the T9. All right, Benson, you have a good one, bro. Good talk to you, man. Yeah, it'd probably be the T9. I mean, I've always liked that. That was my favorite all the way up into. Um, in the farm sim 15 that was that was it from that time on so I'd have to say that one I don't really mind any of the rest of them but honestly I don't really care
Alright, so I'll let this get extended out here and get it set. T8, I hear you. Yeah, T8 was a good one. I actually like the Blue Power T7 they gave us as a reskin. That was a good one. I enjoyed that tractor. And whether it's massive Fent, I, I don't really care. Kind of was talking about earlier, I actually wish they would bring some of those Challenger tractors, like we have the tracked versions of the M series. I'd love to see those M series in the wheeled versions. Um, that would be really nice. All right, guys, I think that's uh, showing we're running over about 220 on this. So um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and stop it there. So pretty much that was really um, uh, how long have I been streaming for? Yes, two hours, 20 minutes. Um, that's usually about my, my stream length. That keeps it good and that keeps it watchable. Um, if I do any longer than that, nobody wants to watch four hours of uh, streaming. So um, so I've got everything done, 120, 19, 17, 18 uh, I'm an 18. Maybe I'll buy 18. I'll maybe do that in the background um, off stream. But I'm trying to set all this up. Going to do another multiplayer haul. So maybe um, get some of the guys that's wanted to play and get them in the next couple of days. Uh, we can kind of put that together. Maybe by this weekend, since it's Wednesday, we'll uh, we'll actually get something set up for this weekend. We can do maybe a couple multiplayer days. Um, but as far as I know, I think I still should be on for streaming tomorrow. As far as I know, I uh, don't see why I wouldn't be. So it has been. Um, a wonderful uh, stream as always. I enjoyed catching up on all the old movie quotes. We'll have to continue the Joe Dirt. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll have to. Uh, let me see if I can put put that on some images. I'm gonna get some Joe Dirt. Uh, get some Joe Dirt memes for Farm Sim. <laughs> maybe we can do some of that. So um, I'll see what I can make make happen on that one. If you haven't, uh, if you're if you're kind of like, oh, what the heck is he talking about, Joe Dirt? Go back and watch like the first 30, 40 minutes. It was really good. <laughs> so, um, yes, good night, uh, Chad. You have a good one. Good night to everyone that's out there, and for those that are watching, don't forget throw a like. You guys have been super, 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 super good on throwing up likes on the videos. It is much appreciated. Um, those do those do. If you're wondering why does a like video do anything, it does kind of send something and tick something over with YouTube, and it puts that video in front of other people that like similar videos um so that's really the whole key to liking a video that's why it does um <clears throat> so <laughs> jitter farmers only go oh we had to get on this it'll be like three hours we'll still be talking about joe dirt <clears throat> maybe next time i'll read um I'll, I'll read Joe Dirt's letter, I mean, uh, Kid Rock's letter to, to Brandy, or the one that Brandy supposedly writes to Joe Dirt. I'll read that one. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, good night, Walter. Thank you, bud. Appreciate that. Good night, Michael. Uh, you guys have a great one, and uh, should I should be on tomorrow as far as I know. Um, so we will uh, we'll continue this saga on there. Um, like I said, as always, uh, Facebook, Full Tilt Gaming on Facebook, Full Tilt. Uh, just without the gaming on Twitter, and if uh, if you got Twitch and you're on Twitch and on it actively, go ahead and look me up on there, Full Tilt Gaming. And I'll stream on there all the time. Eventually, at some point, I will start streaming there. But just to kind of let you know the final uh, ins and outs. Um, Friday, uh, Friday freebie up will be going up on Facebook this Friday. So if you do want to do that, go ahead and like the page, uh, and then you get access to some HD uh, backgrounds that I'm doing, kind of arts wise. That's kind of based off some of my episode series here. So. Uh, yes, Patrick, good night, good to see you. Pavel, I wish I could read that. I will put that in translator and figure out what that says. <laughs> so uh, you guys have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow night. Uh, we'll continue this saga on then. Uh, and if not, we'll uh, maybe pick up some login at some of these other places I've been thinking about in my head. So one way or the other, we'll be doing something farming-wise tomorrow. Uh, but until then, we'll see you.